So welcome back everybody. Last time I lost Amster Amsterdam, but I did take Paris, so that's um good. Good and bad things are happening all the time. At least at least the People's Republic of China is doing pretty good. I'll I'll get I'll give it that. That's that's the one positive that's been We going have on. capital ships. <laughs> yeah. Oh. In my capital ships, uh, those were good days back when I had capital <laughs> ships. I remember, like, earlier in this campaign, I actually lost my capital ships, too, so. Like, I lost, like, one or two of them already in a huge naval battle. So, I'm just trying to recover stuff. Hmm. Now, how do we get more aluminum? Yeah, that's the real question. Metal, oh, metal foundries. Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta get some metal foundries. So, I can get some aluminum foundries. Because, my lord, trying to get all that aluminum right now, not, boy, you know, holy cow. Sudan. Oh, yes, go D shaky. Go. No, no, they're bringing planes to France. I had my opportunity, but they're they're trying to stop me. Actually, I would have moved you guys over here. Actually, do I have any spare naval bombers? Mm, I have actually some medium bombers, some tactical bombers that I could use to help pound down the uh, enemy's convoys. But industry improved. One free building slot in every own province. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Oh. What are strategic bombers in this mod? Is that heavy bombers? Yeah. Heavy bombers, yeah. Okay. I believe I set a production for them, so I should have at least one that I can put in the air if I need to nuke something. Yeah. Yeah. Might get the off chance where we can actually go kaboom to them. Yes, that would be pretty epic. Ay, 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 ay. And the new French capital should be mine. Uh... Mm, muy bueno, muy bueno. Oh no, more tanks got encircled. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, but it's fine. They can eat. They're they're still pretty decent, even when encircled. Oh, well, that's good. That's very very good. Yes, mostly just because the French just have terrible infantry everywhere. Hmm. 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 Yeah. I, mm, yeah. Once you are done with the French, we really need to go to war with Spain just so that I can close off the Mediterranean. So then we can finish off the rest of Europe in the Balkans. Because that Balkans, they've got so many divisions in there. Yeah, right now Spain joined. Well, I don't know if they would put divisions in France. But if they did... They would. They would probably join France, the faction. Yeah. That, that's, that's what I fear. Because right now, both... France and I have very little divisions in France, so <laughs> it kind of balances itself out. Yeah. If Spain put all their divisions in, that'd be scary. Oh, I broke, I broke the port, and I broke them in Brest, so now all those divisions are getting encircled without getting out of that port. Nice. That's good. Actually, did I get any more? The superiority can do for you. I got a few more resources I can work with now. Oh, actually, I don't have air superiority. <laughs> fake news and that's okay oh now i have air superiority it's just flickering on and off every couple seconds but yeah that's about 30 divisions in circles by breast oh boy oh boy well i guess it was 30 divisions <laughs> oh yeah it's already falling fast come on oh yeah some of these guys some of my ships they're just veterans now oh that's beautiful Plus 30% damage, plus 20% defense. I love numbers, at least positive numbers. We're gonna need more fuel too eventually, holy cow. There's like no divisions in France anymore. I don't know what happened to all the French divisions. They're probably in the Netherlands, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've heard the Netherlands is a nice place to hang out, so maybe. Yep. Go ahead, keep that Libyan division down as we are supposed to be continually attacking. Come on, guys, keep moving. You got legs. Oh, 
Yep, found another task force. I really need to see how many ships the UK has, because I know they have a, t a butt ton. Yeah, I have. I can. I can see they have 250 to 350, which actually isn't that much. But... Yeah, 258 to 347. Over less than 200,000 manpower deployed just in the navy. Oh, I can actually see two to four battle cruisers, eight to 14 battleships, four to six carriers. Uh, maybe a little under 300 destroyers, 12 to 24 heavy cruisers, a little less than 40 light cruisers, and two to four subs. Not bad. Yeah. <sighs> I got We're so many ships to kill. Surprisingly small for 46. That's just because we've been killing them. I, I don't know. Maybe. That's true. Yeah, that could be it. Maybe not. I don't I want to toot my own I've, horn too much, but. I've been playing too much about against max buff AI, so that might. Ah. Be really too used to that. Yeah, I'm not that crazy. Even though I've heard it's not really that much more difficult. Yeah, it's it's actually not too bad, just because the AI is still the AI, even yeah. when it's max buff for the most part. It's a little more difficult. Depending on which country you're playing as and which country you're having to, having to go against, like if you max buff China while playing as Japan, now that's kind of impossible. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm sure you... it's possible, but it's yeah, you know, not, oh. not a fun experience. Oh. Right. But max buffing France while you're playing as Germany isn't the worst thing mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, I like to play this game for fun. I wouldn't. I don't <laughs> want to hate this game. <laughs> yeah. I just needed an excuse to play vanilla without it being too easy. Yeah. Is it, oh my goodness. Man, if I had to play this game and be really serious with it, I wouldn't be yeah. here right now, man, I swear. True. <laughs> yeah. I can only be so serious for so long with this game. Yeah. Come on, France guys. It's close to capitulating, too, and I have 45% compliance, which isn't too bad. Yeah, that's pretty so. good. Oh, finish another focus. Cool. What can I do next? Anything? Oh, I could restart the Civil War, but... Hmm. I don't have my navy over there. Is there something else I can do? Oh, I can do the Grand Northwest Union proposal. Yeah, I'm thinking, no, I don't want to destroy the commies right now, so we're going to not do that. <laughs> what can I do over here? Technology... Oh, that's actually really hard to see. Oh. Oh, traditional containments. Ah, almost done with the land doctrine. Nice, recon gets nice. more recon. Almost done. With the last one. It's only 46. That's all. Heavy industry. Okay. I can get. Ooh, 5% more civilian factory construction speed, aggressive population growth policies, weekly manpower plus 3%, per, plus three monthly population plus 100%. Mmm, that could be really good for me. Oh, I can also get resource gain efficiency. Hmm. Uh, they would have capitulated, but they retook Calais the second they would have. Okay, Ooh. they retook it back, though. I think that capitulates them, or they're really close. Yeah, they're really close. Oh, yeah. They must have retaken another stuff. state. I love it. Oh, I don't know. I love construction engineering probably too much. I just want to build more infrastructure. But what I could really use is more resources. Okay, I'm going to build more infrastructure because I have a problem. <laughs> And, uh, civilian factories. Alright, Huang, you're skill level 5, you're learning how to become a swife flatter. Swatter, swatter, I can't speak, words, oh, no. difficult. Ah, I can go to doing a D-Day. Oh, so close. Oh, oh boy. I have to capitulate France before this, that'd make this a lot easier. Alright, so I'm gonna leave my soldiers from... Leave my soldiers? I can't, I really can't word <laughs> today. Uh, I can't speak, but I'm going to take my soldiers away from the Balkans, and I'm going to invade Iraq. And then probably Saudi Arabia. Wait, 280, that's not worth it. Cool. You guys head on over there. We'll have a great time. We'll sing some Kumbaya. Have a good time. Nice. There goes right there. Do I need more naval bombers? Yeah, we're seeing some convoys over there. Not bad. Mm -hmm. We could probably throw more naval bombers on this area because there's quite a few and helps keep our ships in very good condition. The range on these naval bombers. Oh, oh my goodness. You.
Oh man, France is looking like chicken pox a little bit, but you're doing a really good job with that. Nice. Yeah, it's, they're about capitulated. Almost there. Oh, my uh, garrisons have tried to show up to help push the enemy out. That might not be a good <laughs> idea. Then again, yeah. I almost have 400 garrison soldiers divisions, so. They're coming in regardless. Lose a few bodies here and there, you know, whatever. I was gonna really wreck up my casualties. Oh well. Cool. Are you guys there yet? Eh, we're getting there. We're very close. Very very close. Uh, this part of Africa really sucks. Where uh, Sudan is, uh, Sudan, Khartoum, oh, Garbo. Go and repair everyone. Please tell me, please tell me. Oh, it's in, just, just another lucky room. Finally, there ah, we go. Ah, he has France done it. Done. He has done uh, it. A lot of encirclements to clean up now. Very nice. That is very good. That's perfect. And once I get a defensive line... Oh, Spain has 10 to 20 divisions per tile along the French border. Mm, uh, I love fighting through the uh, Pyrenees. Um, yeah, I... I I'll get a good defensive line down there, and then you can declare on them. But for now, I think... Yeah, just put, uh, like, two divisions per tile just so to make yeah. them attack you and you know, just kind of hang out. Yeah. I'll just need to clean up all this stuff in France so I can redesign this army. I'll have to have one for the Italy border, too. Oh, yeah. Good old Italian border. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Come on. Keep moving. I took Algiers. Very good. They decrypted my ciphers. The French have. Oh no! The French, the capitulated yep. French. <laughs> oh right. no! No, uh -oh. I lost one plane. Sunk a convoy. Killed off a lot more ships. Nice. Are these Liberian? I think these are Liberian. Yeah, they're Liberian. Uh, are, are our guys ready to go yet? Jeez, they take forever. Go to war by when? October 22nd. Oh. They should be able to go to war now, yeah. Potential enemies? West Germany is guaranteeing the Kingdom of Iraq. Why is West Germany guaranteeing the the freedom of Iraq? Um, no clue. Probably some weird events. I don't know. What could help is I use radar in, in all these areas, but then again I have to research radar first. And, uh, that's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Ah, my front lines are in a are being very interesting right now. Huh? Are they spinning, turning? Man, the area that you have in um, the Benelux yeah, is yeah, so thin. It, yeah, yeah, it's it's that's that's where some of the problems are. <laughs> I'm amazed you you haven't gotten encircled yet. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 quite interesting right now. I gave you. Can we maybe pause the game for just a second oh, so yeah. I can get this <laughs> army um, figured out? Thank you. Uh, let's just put it here. I okay, love... that should be good now. You can restart it. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Eleven more ships sunk. That makes me feel so warm inside. <laughs> One's... Man, me trying to research stuff takes forever. Yeah, I've pretty much researched everything I would ever want. I'm just researching better support equipments. <sighs> okay, Mr. Fabulous Research over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> see if I can get air supremacy. Let's see if we can drop the first nuke. I have 11 nukes, so... Yeah, I don't think anyone has done it yet. Hey, I got Iraq! 
If you'd like to click done, maybe. Unless you want part of Ivaraka, that's fine with me. Nah, I don't, I don't want to cause any more border guard than I've already caused. Yeah, you gotta do the China strat. Just <laughs> annex them. Yeah, I, I should have. I, I had different plans, but plans have changed. Those were past times when I started this game. Yeah, I'm just doing what real life China would do. What would China do? Yeah. Would China make puppet governments? Would oh, China maybe. build Probably. islands in the South Pacific? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have a thousand jet fighters in storage. It's time to bring the Air Force back to life. The Americans have figured out that maybe they should guard North Africa, huh? Well, I guess Americans, some Cubans, some Canadians, some Mexicans, some Brits. Yeah, that's okay, but every, every North American or allied division that goes there is not in Europe, so... <laughs> Uh, that's that's a win for me at least no. because they have so many divisions here. Oh my goodness, I don't like it that their Painful. convoys can shoot down my naval bombers. Please, game. Their convoys? Yeah, the convoys actually shoot down naval bombers. They can that's, if you don't have enough very... naval bombers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You don't have very many. Yeah. I, I'm so close to that 75% air superiority. Nice. So close. And then, and then you know. No. Oh no. Uh, no. Hey, at least I get to look at my ships. Oh, look at that. Yeah. All so many of my ships are veterans now. Maybe not my battleship, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At least thirteen of my light cruisers are are veterans. Wow. Yeah. My navy is my navy is just in an interesting place. It's been repairing for at least like a year or something. <laughs> wow, how much? That's, yeah. That sounds like a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to stop the convoys back when things were going really bad in Germany and Poland. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like they got Danzig again. I didn't even notice. Huh. So it's are you now? Are you make like, make make ugh, words difficult hard? Uh, so are you making any ships now or? Yeah, well, I'm mostly just making screens, not really capital ships. Just screens to convoy raid them out of invasions. I, yeah. I probably will start producing some capital ships, too. But I think I've kind of... I'm doing better with the Air War, so I should be able to paradrop the UK okay. with all its spells. So I should be fine. That's good. And I don't think the UK Navy's in the English Channel anyway, so... Yeah, that's probably the thing I don't like about the UK. They're all over the world, and they're so spread out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once I uh, once I stabilize my borders, I could try an invasion of them. Just depending. I'll just check their coasts and see how well defended they are. Then maybe we can do something. Yes. All right. Looks like you are L Oded. Nice. Finally. Woo, and... There we go. Very nice. Oh, Japanese ship getting sunk, alright. Well, whatever. How many capital ships am I trying to make? Oh my goodness, I need so many thingies. <sighs> That'll save stuff for now. I only have four things, four, five, somewhat of six. There we go. Let's see that. Oh my goodness. Uh, aluminum. Why? There we go. Actually, I bought a lot from you. Yay! Oh, nice. I have so much steel now. Wow. I don't I... have to trade with anyone for steel, <laughs> finally. I have so much tungsten. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, wow. I was doing so bad. Like, resources was my one main issue. And I researched, I think, most of the excavation text, too. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I was having such problems. Ah. Looks like my dream of finally using a nuke is kind of dead. Oh no. What happened? Ah, they just moved a lot of planes. Oh. Maybe, maybe though. Let's see if this works. Big explosion, please. Please? Oh yes, big explosion! Big explosion incoming soon, very soon. 
Coming to a city near oh, you? Oh, it's in London. London. <laughs> I thought you were going to nuke Amsterdam right. or something, but cool. Yeah, well, I, I can't get air there, but you know. Oh, wait, but you got air? You, okay. Hmm. I got air it. Yeah. England's not defending themselves. They're just really trying to defend the Benelux. Well, okay. <laughs> Good job, uh, UK. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, we're at war with Ethiopia as well. Oh my goodness, I'd hate to be fighting down in Africa if I was, if I was, just, you know, just... Ugh. Average Chinese soldier ah, going to Ethiopia. The African front seems pretty good, though, for the most part. Yeah, it's either they fight and shoot the Africans, can I say that? Maybe not on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh... I'll bleep it out on my... Part maybe? Who knows? Uh, well, I, I won't leave it out of my part. If people are like, yeah. alright, whatever. Yeah, sure. I just shoot Africans. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. You know, it's either they shoot them or they get shot in the back. You know, just communist things. Yeah. Where is the capital of. Oh, it's down here in this part of Sudan. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we're taking a lot of hits, or a lot of attrition down here, but I don't really care too much. Because they're, they're suffering greatly down here as well. I mean, yeah, Ethiopia's got a yeah. lot, but... AI doesn't know how to deal with attrition that well, so... Yeah, the African front looks fine. They have a lot of divisions in that one little pocket, kind of, below the border of Ethiopia. Yeah. Oof. And that's okay. Just wish I could get the 45% air, air supremacy in the Netherlands, but I'm not even close. Oof. Ooh, but I just got an airbase in the Benelux, so that's... Nice. Another screen, good. Oh, I'm also using my infantry to help you fight off all these naval invasions too. Yeah, that's very helpful. Look at all these guys. Thank you so much for that. That that changes everything because uh, and and now that I have tungsten, I I can make more armies, so I can maybe even defend my own ports, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Eh, eventually. At least make divisions to invade the UK, and then where are they going to invade from after that? They'll find a way. I guess, yeah, they'll find a they'll way. They'll find a way, yeah. Sure. At least they're getting kicked out of Scandinavia, well, at least Finland and Northern Russia. That's good, yeah. Past. How much longer is this going to take against these guys? Passage defense. Cool. Wow, Leopold Trepper. He's Jewish, Polish, Belgian... Chinese and French. Huh. Wow. Very interesting combination right there. Now he's got the Penta combo. Yeah. I, I want I want to fight the bigger naval battle. I love sinking ships. I want I want more. I want I want I want more. More ships. You need more. I want more. The Admiral demands more. <laughs> I'm just sad I've only been able to use my nukes to bomb the UK. Well, hmm. at least at least I like seeing that fort in London being bombed 10 out of 10 levels. That's nice. pretty nice. So I guess if I ever see Lion, well, when I see Lion, I'll definitely see Lion. Yeah. But once I do, it'll be that much easier. I guess, can I bomb? I guess I could bomb all their airports in the UK and then they can't use their planes. That's probably a good yeah, idea. Yeah, you could strat bomb them, yeah. Or I could just nuke all the airports. I have like ten nukes. No, yeah, there you go. I'll see. I'll, I'll see if it. I'll see if the nukes are effective at destroying the air bases because that would be very nice. Oh, yes, they most definitely are. <laughs> their air bases are all completely destroyed now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, how are they going to use their planes now? That's that's very good. Some of these guys are attacking so hard they're literally dying while attacking. Alright, that's a case. Guys, kind of hang out. I wish I could see the UK's production screen right now. I bet oh, that's yeah. pretty sad. You can just look around their country and everything that you can see is bombed. is pretty much bombed. Nice. Let's see. I don't think I can see them. They have a lot of planes, though. A lot of air bases. Balkan strategy. Five to seven million people. Jesus. Yeah, they definitely have less destroyers now. But, hmm, destroyers are cheap. 
Come on, capital ships keep being made. Making a hundred thousand people a month. Never enough. <laughs> oh yeah. I make more people than guns every month. That's kind of weird to think about. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Shen Dong. So you got anything good? No, not really. Oh no, they're they're reinvading Germany again. How? They How? broke. They broke all of the garrisons. How? Yeah. Same. Hold on. I can probably put some more over there. Wait, are we at war with, We're not at war with Sweden or things like that. Yeah, not yet. It just kind of looks like it because America's, like, same color really we're close We're fighting to Norway, so that might mean that they can move through? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe some lag because I'm going to give East Germany some of the, the stuff in Germany. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, Literally. hello. Hello, <laughs> lag. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. Come on, North Africa's almost done for now. Every Together for victory. Everyone attack at once in Oran. Oh, yeah. Coast guards are so useful. Except, unless you play Old World Blues, or it costs you money to use them. Oh no, yeah. I need to play that mod more. Such a good mod. I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, I, actually, at the time of this recording, I don't know when this video is going to be up for everyone, but uh, 3.0 will be out hopefully soon. It's looking to be a huge addition. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I need to play that some. I started playing Fallout New Vegas, so I'd get some of the references in that mod too, so oh. I decided to, decided to play it again. I have I don't think I played Old World Blues for probably four ish months or something about that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am trying to get it back into other mods as well, like I've been looking at like Red Flood. By the time this video comes out, I you already know if you follow my channel, I've done a campaign on Red Red Flood, which is which should be my first one. Other mods like Southern Victory came out, uh just there's so many mods out there. Yeah. A lot of good mods coming out recently. Just wish I had more time. Of all the months to be busy. For me. <laughs> yep. All these good all mods come out. All summer months. Lots of people have a lot of free time to make a lot of cool mods. Yeah. I didn't realize, but they reinvaded me. And, uh... Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're... Well... All right, Mel, back at it. Keep attacking. <clears throat> you had your break. Now you're going to attack again. But North Africa, that is looking nice. I stretch from the Atlantic to the Chinese Sea. Or China Sea. East China Sea. Beautiful. How many divisions, how many UK divisions about do you think cover your borders in Africa? I'm, I'm, I'm a lot. considering a meme sea lion invasion just to test them to see if, because the one place on this entire map where I have, where I can get green air is southern England, so. Hmm. They're trying to D-Day right now. It doesn't look like it's too successful. Mm hmm a good question. But, yeah. I mean, you could always try it but yeah I, I don't have I don't have much hope for success but I guess I can see I can just test it I mean in any case I mean I still have like now I have 436 Coast Guard divisions guarding the entire coastline between the tip of Brittany all the way down to Beijing um so <laughs> yeah so whenever they even if they break like my lines I don't even have engineers uh, the Coast Guards just keep attacking them until they die. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a nice strategy to be able to use. Especially with China. Oof. 
Not with any other country. No, 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 no. Manpower is precious for every other country. Oh, look at that. We actually broke through here. Finally, cut to him. Eritrea is going to be a pain in the butt to get. We're actually, we took it just a small tile of Ethiopia, maybe? No? Yes? Yes? Yes, we did. Good, good. Wow, there's 21 divisions that we're attacking. That's a, that's quite a bit. Yeah, that's quite a bit, man. But they're not doing well either. Nice, come on. Give me another capital ship. I want a third. Now we're getting close to get another one. Cool, cool. Oh, and we have my Coast Guards. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. My Coast Guards are guarding uh, Western Africa, Northwest Africa. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That is beautiful. Oh yeah, Africa's looking a lot better now. Nice. That's the defense. Nice. Civilian economy. Good. Okay, the 26 meme sea line divisions are ready. Let's <laughs> see. Let's just test it out. And hey, if, if I start losing the invasion, I can just nuke a port and see if <laughs> that... <laughs> well, it's going to destroy the port, so... It kind of bad for me getting the port. But. If we, you can't have the port, neither can they. Exactly, yeah. If I start losing, I'll just nuke their port, and then nobody gets it. Oh, I can go to war with them now, nice. Uh, just before we go to war, how about we do this? I don't know. If I nuke all their ports and destroy all their ports completely, will they? Will all their divisions in Africa just start attritioning? I, I don't know how that works. Um, probably not, because they're probably sending supply sure, through yeah. Scotland. Yeah, and they're probably getting some local supply, most likely. Yeah, a little smidgen of local supply. A little... Well, I can I can nuke Scotland too. So. Hey man, if you want me to pause it real quick, if you want, if you just want to nuke everything first. Oh no, it's it's fine. Okay. I'll start the invasion and then nuke it because it'd be really sad if I had to nuke a port because then the port is okay. pretty much useless. Just It'll let me know it. if you want to go ka major yeah. kaboom. Yes, I'll I'll ask for a pause if I need some. I might need some. I might need a slower speed too for sea line if it's somehow lands. But right now I'm just trying it because everything in mainland Europe is just so so annoying to mm -hmm. do anything here. I'd love to take the Benelux. Taking the Benelux would make it a lot better, because then I could oh, yeah. move all those divisions somewhere and just focus on that area. And then uh, you could have those extra air bases. Yep. Right now, all my air is just in England. Because I destroyed all their air bases there, so they can't do anything. Nice. The power of the nukes. Come on, I want just one more. One more capital ship, and then I'll ask for one more after that too, but still. I love Saudi Arabia. Then again, I don't know how many people actually say that, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's looking a little better down there. Hmm. Nice American convoys go bye bye. Supply-wise, we're looking pretty darn good. Don't need things. Logging up our areas here. No, thank you. Medium tanks. Well, maybe eventually. Uh, scout planes are like that. Actually. Nope. Oh, what happened here? Cool convoys. Oh, yes. Yeah, they definitely have a lot of ships in the English Channel now. 
Let's see. I have 400 maritime bombers I could throw in there. Yeah, that'd be nice. I have green air there too, so I can escort them. Good. I'm having very mixed results with the bombing campaign in the channel. Let's see. We gotta bomb them. Destroy that and destroy that. Those are the three we need. Do that, do that, do that. Good luck, tactical bombers. I will probably never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that when I set my navy on never repair, they still try to repair? <sighs> because they don't want to die. <laughs> uh, this is their one mission, they have to win this mission. This is all I ask. I guess they forget which country they actually live in. <laughs> yes. Cool. Oh, I guess yeah. we're forcing that area. Yeah, the sea line isn't gonna happen for now. These divisions would probably, these divisions would be better spent somewhere else, most likely. They shot down twenty-one my planes. Oh my goodness! But look at all those. Look at all that navy that's being destroyed. That's a lot. But Did... I don't know if we could ever destroy enough their navy to get supremacy there anytime oh, soon. Oh, eventually. Well, maybe not soon, but eventually. Eventually. Yeah. It'll, it'll just be a very long bombing campaign before anything happens. Come on, come on. Yes! A third capital ship. It is a battle cruiser, 1940. What a beautiful ship. So beautiful. Design wise, it is. Oh god. Oh, move your planes out of the English Channel, by the way. They put a lot of fighters up there. Oh, never mind. They moved them. Uh, let's see. I just lost one. And I sunk a Chilean convoy. Huh. Cool. Oh, they're still trying to invade me in the English Channel. Oh, wow, you have 28 divisions of regulars just guarding Cherbourg? Oh, no, that's the Sea Lion division. Oh, okay. Right I'm like, holy cow, like... Yeah, yeah, I'm not that I'm not that intense with, the, with protecting that one for it. It's just, just in case Sea Lion worked, they could all hop over Cool. Uh, do you mind passing or just... I mean, oh, if, yeah, if you want Saudi Arabia, I don't know if you would really need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. This doesn't really have anything of value for us to take. I have everything I could ever want. The only thing I don't have that I want is, like, more resources, but... And manpower, too. I'm... I'm I know I'm the Soviets, but manpower is starting to become a problem. <laughs> Very cool. Very good. Well, I am slow. I actually can put build infrastructure in Ethiopia now. Thank the Lord. Whee! All right. I really don't want to send my my spies into the UK just because I don't want them to get trapped and have to rescue them. It's kind of annoying. All right. I'm I'm feeling a little bit more brave with these ships with three capital ships. Hmm. Brave enough to uh, secure naval supremacy in the English Channel. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I might be crazy, but not that crazy. I might hey, do. Hey, if it, I doubt the UK has very many divisions. It could be the opportunity of a lifetime. I think I'm gonna just stick to uh, the coast of Africa for now. <laughs> okay, okay, if you say so. The UK has lost a hundred ships like, since I last checked. So let's see. Not doing so well. Uh, and the last month I've only killed eight. In total, I've killed 762 while losing 19. That includes convoys, though. Yeah. Um, what would help? If I actually used my naval doctrine? Yeah. I, I should maybe start researching navy stuff since I have good supplies with everything else. I only have 1944 destroyers. That's pretty much the only thing I've really made that's good. I'm still using 1940s uh, heavy ships and 1936 cruiser hulls. <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I guess I can start making some heavy ships. Make some cruisers. Let's see. Germany. Oh, they're still attacking us. Okay. okay. Not bad. Not bad. Mao, how would you say is uh, Africa? Well, it's actually, actually, Africa's doing not too bad. We're slowly getting in here. Can we find anything about to blow up, please? 
It's slow. I'm slowly encircling more stuff in France too. Well, the part of France they retook after they capitulated. Nice. Very nice. Hmm. I just don't know where would be the most optimal point to put my ships. Besides, English in, Channel. besides the English Channel, because if I put my ships in there, I know in an instant they're gonna bring out all their planes. Yeah. But hey, if all their planes go in the English Channel, then you know I could uh, I could finish off the Netherlands. But yeah, I don't want your capital ships oh, to be destroyed. That'd you're be sad. break my heart. Oh no. That'd be I'd be way too sad if all your if your navy you worked so hard to make just got destroyed. Just in a matter of like a second or two seconds. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, try to bust into France. Yeah, see what happens. You, you didn't expect a bunch of Chinese guys to be there waiting for you, huh? Didn't think so. Oh, yeah. Probably the last thing they thought. Bunch of hundreds of thousands of guys with Chinese guns and soldiers just show up out of nowhere. I just sunk a ton of Italian convoys in the English Channel. I, I don't know why. Nice. Oh, I'm sinking just a few things here. I'm really glad we actually I got Ethiopia. Yeah, Mal. He's still field marshal. He's doing okay. Oh, I can finally get Sudan. I can actually increase infrastructure in here too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cool. But this video's gone on probably for too long. Would you like to end it real quick? Oh yes, of course. Thanks everybody for watching. This is this has been great so far. I think I think there's some promising stuff going on, especially in the English Channel. Whenever we decide to put our navies out there, excited to see what happens. Remember to subscribe to both of us, and see you all next time.